Welcome to Westwood High School. So this entrance right here is where you will come in if you ride the bus to school. Um, if you arrive on time, you can just walk right in and head to your locker. Um, but if you're late, you just need to get your ID and you can swipe in. So this is the library where a student would go for both academic as well as computer issues. Um, the computer issues, would uh, you would go to the stat desk, which is run by upperclassmen during your studies, because um, freshmen have studies. Uh, you, would go, you could also go to the writing lab for any help writing your essays or any problems like that for class. And um, you would go to the books in the library for um, academic projects, mostly. So this is the band room. If you choose to take band, um, this is where you'd be having that class. And right connected to this room is the chorus room, is where you'd obviously have chorus. Um, but there are a lot of other classes you can take in the performing arts and music category. There's piano lab and um, guitar lab, which is right next door. And like I said, there's chorus, band, there's orchestra. Um, and for all of those courses, they have an annual concert for um, band and chorus, and there's um, annual musical and annual play that would be in the auditorium which is uh, right down the hallway and then there's also a drama class which um, would be in the little theater which is right next to the auditorium so there's plenty of options and plenty of different courses you can take if you're interested in performing arts. This is the auditorium where all big large assemblies would be ha held. If you um, take chorus or orchestra or band, this is where um, concerts would be. And if you choose to do the ex extracurriculars such as the musical or play, this is where those would be performed. This is the cafeteria where all four grades eat. They serve lunch here. They have hot meals, sandwiches, salads. Um, you can also bring um, lunch, which is completely normal, and they also have lots of snack options here. You can upload money online to, for your student to pay for their lunch using a, their code or their swipe card. So this is the social studies classroom, and the freshmen will take world civilizations, and then in sophomore year, there's modern history with the option of taking AP, which is AP Euro. And then in junior year, um, it's American history, and there's also an AP option for that. For senior year, there's a multitude of options, including things like AP economics, crime in America, modern dynamics, and classes such as that. So every department has teacher offices. This is the social studies office. And this is a place where you can meet with your teachers uh, after school or in between blocks. There's also mailboxes to drop materials off for a teacher if you need to. So this is the guidance office and this is where all of the guidance counselors are. And they're split up for each student alphabetically by last name. And students can email their guidance counselors anytime to set up a meeting with them during the day. And they're also really helpful with the college choosing process and figuring out which colleges are the right choice. This is the nurse's office. There are two nurses present throughout the school day for students to come and visit. Um, for medication, you can drop it directly at the office and the nurse will keep it there. And for dismissals, the nurse will call a parent, the parent will come to the front office, and then the student will be dismissed to the front office. Right now we are in the gymnasium and volleyball, basketball, and other extracurriculars take place in here, as well as the exercise portion of wellness class. And so um, you'll definitely be in here at some point or your students will be in here. And then over on this side, we have the locker rooms um, where students will get ready before wellness. They can you know, keep a pair of sneakers in there, change their clothes, whatever they need to do to be ready for wellness. 
So this is the English hallway. Um, the freshman course is freshman literature and composition, and then there's sophomore literature and composition. And then in junior year, you can either take American literature or take AP literature. Um, and then senior year, there's a lot of options. There's electives like journalism or creative writing or other classes such as that. This is the math wing, and freshmen can start by either taking Algebra 1 or Geometry, and then the next levels after that is Algebra 2, and then Pre-Calc, and then Calculus, A, B, or B, C. And then you can also take electives like Computer Science or Statistics. And then we also have a math seminar room where students can get passes from their teachers to come in and get help anytime. Freshman year, students will take Biology. In sophomore year, students take Chemistry and for junior year students will take physics and then there's multiple options for senior year and if a freshman or any student needs help they can talk to their teacher and find a free block or study or any time to meet with that teacher. So similar to middle school they offer Spanish and French which you continue taking but in addition they have Mandarin and Latin. Um, Mandarin could be your uh, complete language for all four years but Latin would be more of an elective which you can um, have become your main language once you become a junior. To graduate, you only need two years of a language, but many people often take it um, further after that. Right now, we are in one of the art rooms. Um, this room is mainly used for ceramics, but as well as ceramics, there's also visual arts, studio arts, graphic design, photography, and so many more. And also, your student will be required to take an art before they graduate. Right now we are in the project lab and this is a great room for students interested in STEM to um, do any projects really. They can do some woodworking, make stuff with a 3D printer, and they have access to dozens of computers. So this is a really versatile space and um, it can be put to good use. Robotics is a club that you can take at Westwood High School and each year for the pep rally the robotics team makes a really cool robot and they usually um, like launch t-shirts out of it and stuff so that's great and they also compete against other schools to like see who can make the best robot. Westwood High School has numerous clubs varying from Entrepreneurs Club all the way to Yoga Club. Each club is run by an advisor and a student. You're able to explore many different clubs at the activities fair where the um, leader and the advisor put up a little stand and you can walk around and see the different clubs we have to offer. There are so many clubs, so you'll have to see in September which club suits you best. Whatever your child is interested in, there will definitely be a class for them at Westwood High School.